In this week's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a flip through of my finished sketchbook. It's an eight and a half by 11 reflection sketchbook. I've been working on it for over a year now, and I wanted to walk you through the pages and talk about some of the things that I worked on in there and give you an idea of how I use a sketchbook. I have some artwork in the pocket in the front. I just added this little magazine cover here because I like the colors on it. And the first pages here are my swatch pages, some watercolors, and some different pastels and intense pencils. These are simplified faces. I've been working on those for a while and as I flip through, I'll just talk about different things I worked on as they come up. These are just more simplified faces. This is a sketch I did from one of the sketches in my sketchbook I have. Over here, I hope you can see it good. I did a sketch from memory of glass jars. And then I did a sketch over here from observation. These pages I filled up with, uh, I think they're little cartoon illustrations. I have a book that teaches you how to draw them. So I was practicing with that. And some birds. I'd really like to make some paintings like that, but I'm not, I haven't made them yet. I just practice sketching them. These are some figures that are like faceless figures that I've been working on for a while now, maybe about a year or more. Their ideas for paintings. A lot of my pages are like that. Sometimes they're just practice pages or pages that I'm working on different ideas to develop later on. And I did some sketches in this book from uh, Matisse. I looked at some of his artwork and I made sketches from them, the images. And I tried to make sketches like his, but just in my, my way. And these are also from Matisse. I redid the faceless portraits, and then I added watercolor and color pencil to these. It was ink tents, water soluble graphite, and watercolor. Um, this is a watercolor portrait. It's one of my favorite portraits that I made in this book. I have some more here. This was just an idea, me playing around with ideas with watercolor. Got more swatches. I do a lot of swatch pages and patterns. Have some thumbnail working on values and compositions for different things. More patterns. <laughs> this is a freeform abstract with ink tents. I think they're water watercolor pencils or something, or I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but I did a quick thumbnail here and then I worked over here to practice. And I've got florals, sketches. This is watercolor and lead pencil. I really like these pages. These are two of my favorite pages. 
with that type of style or I don't know if it's a style but I just used one or two colors of the watercolor and then the pencil on top so simplified faces that I was going to use as reference or as inspiration for paintings and I have some more monochrome watercolor pages these are ink I was just playing around with the I think it's Higgins ink I really like it it's so pretty I like making these monochrome pages I practiced some more of the faceless portraits I don't really share it a lot but uh, it's something I'm interested in building my skills for and drawing from real life another page I think this was like red orange and then I used some pastels over here I want to practice more drawing from still life or ordinary ordinary objects and and some figures so then i was trying to put together the faceless uh, portraits with the figures and here is practicing mannequin figure practice with the mannequin I worked on a realistic face to practice and then I went back to sketching these guys. I kind of go back and forth, you could see, practicing from real life or from pictures of people to learning how to break it down to the least elements. And this one, she had lots of eye mascara, so I made her eyes eyelashes like so full. And a pattern page. I've got some watercolor simple faces and some thumbnails, floral thumbnails. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a pattern page, but I was practicing on with my camera to see how I could or to figure out how I could move my camera more when I'm working. So that's when I made this page, these two pages. And I was just playing around with watercolor on here, making different floral patterns and leaf shapes. This page is filled with, these two pages are filled with some illustrations of flowers and then I made these into I use these sketches to make paintings for the World Watercolor Month. I had a video on there. I I can point this video over there if you're interested, or I can maybe share some pictures of it on a community post. But I use these pages as reference for those illustrations. And I have more swatches. These are soft pastels. I really like those a lot so I swatched them out here to see how they work on this type of paper. I made a lot of these swatch pages because I forget how my supplies work on this paper so I do that a lot often and I enjoy it anyway so it's not a bad thing. I um, was surprised with this paper th that the fluid acrylics worked so nice on here and it didn't go through it worked really well the only supplies that i was interested in working with in this book but i couldn't were the alcohol markers well i could have but they um bleed through the paper so if i made something with them on the back side i would have had to incorporate that into my design or into my art so i just said no i'll do it another time maybe on another paper so i hope you liked seeing that flip through of my finished sketchbook i pinned some of them together because they were just me writing about different things i wanted to work on in my artwork and i'll be putting some more videos on the page soon i'll have some more videos uploaded 
every other week for November. I hope you'll join me then. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you next time.